So in last video we had seen built-in data types and now we will see derived data type and user defined data type. So let's get started. So first of all we will discuss derived data types. Derived data types are made of primitive data types. Primitive means that we had studied earlier. These are with advanced properties and are derived from basic data types. Instead they add some functionality to basic data types like array. An arrangement of objects, pictures or numbers in a row or column is called an array. An array is a collection of homogeneous data types stored in contiguous memory location. You can see it here in this image. Function. Function is a block of code which only runs when it is called. You can pass data known as parameters into the function. Functions are used to perform certain actions and they are important for reusing code. Define the code once and use it many times and then pointer. In C++, a pointer refers to a variable that holds the address of another variable. Like a regular variable, pointer have a data type. For example, a pointer of a type integer can hold address of variable of that type integer. A pointer of character type can hold address of a variable of character type. Now we will see user defined data types. So these are defined by the users. It is a data type which is collection of data which describe an object's attributes and state. This is a data type which holds its own data members and member functions which can be accessed and used by creating an instance of the class. You can see this diagram where we, I had shown user defined data types. These are of three types, structure, union and enumeration. First of all structure, a struct is a C++ data structure that can be used to store together elements of different data types. In C++, a structure is user defined data type. The structure creates a data type for grouping items of different data type under a single data type. Union, union is a user defined data type. All members of union share same memory location. Size of union is decided by the size of largest member of union. If you want to use same memory location for two or more members, union is the best option for that. Enum. Numeration is a user defined data type that consists of integral constants to define an enumeration keyword. Enum is used. Here the name of enumeration is season and spring, summer and winter are values of the type season. Like enum, spring, summer, autumn, winter are given here. So you can see this and by default spring is 0 and summer is 1 and so on. You can change the default value of enum element during the declaration if necessary. So you can see it here how it is shown here like spring equal to 0, summer 4, autumn 8, winter 12. So this was all about user defined data types and derived data types. We will see the practicals of that later on but let me show you some programs that I had made that we will do in future in next coming videos. Like I had made a program in function there we will learn how to create a function other than that, I had also created a program of array where we can output the array, we can see how array is working. And I had also made program of structure where we will see how to make a program about structure and what is structure in detail. So everything will be come later on in next videos. So there was not so much practical in this video, all was that theory. So in next video we will see a new concept of C++ where we will also perform practical. So thanks for watching this video. You can access our C++ playlist by going to the playlist section.